Almighty God. Sanctify and govern our hearts. Make us kind and affectionate towards all men, slow to anger, ready to forgive, as we hope to be forgiven by Thee. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Deliver us, O God, from pride and vain glory, from a fond conceit of ourselves and a mean opinion of others, from a censorious and uncharitable spirit, from an envious and malicious temper, and from all those sinful and corrupt affections that are hateful in thy sight. Amen. O loving Lord, as you divide the day from the night, separate us and all we do from the gloom of darkness. As you have awakened our bodies from sleep, awaken our souls from sin. As the light of the day has brightened our eyes, Illuminate our hearts with the light of your word in the Holy Spirit. Today, empower us as children of the light to walk in obedience to you. That in all our thoughts, words, and actions, we may strive to keep faith and a clean conscience toward you and toward all. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. O Lord, make us always mindful of your own frailty, of the shortness and uncertainty of this life, and of the eternity of the next. Make us careful so to live that we may not be afraid to die. Let not sickness or death ever take us unawares, or find us in a state unprovided. Grant that we may finish the work of salvation before the night cometh, in which no man can work, that so having laid the foundation of hope and comfort against the day of trouble or sickness, we may whenever thou shalt be pleased to call us hence, cheerfully resign our souls into thy hands. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Good Lord, deliver us from the sting and terrors of conscience, from impatience, distrust, 
and despair, from extremity of sickness and pain, which may withdraw our mind from God. Good Lord, deliver us from the bitter pangs of eternal death, from the gates of hell, from the powers of darkness, and from the illusions of Satan. Amen. Almighty God, give me grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things which should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking, as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right, if I surrender to your will so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. <laughs>